Turkish flags have been raised up again in the capital Ankara after a week of national mourning for the tens of thousands of people killed by two major earthquakes in the southern region. Opposition parties say much of the distraction could have been avoided if the government had heeded warnings by experts of an impeding quake. This video is from last summer. It shows an opposition politician in Kahraman Marash, the epicenter of last week's earthquake, urging the authorities to take precautions to minimize damage. Ur Poyraz of the opposition E-Party has been visiting the quake-affected region and is accusing the government of its late response. He says the damaged infrastructure, which cut access to some areas, was also built by the current government. It is a disaster that after 20 years of governing as a single party, you haven't taken any necessary measures here, despite that there was an earthquake three years ago. There's no excuse. Seeking accountability is another thing, but it's a systemic issue. We'll solve this all together, though. We don't have time for reproach or dissent. Last week, Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan inspected the ongoing rescue and relief efforts in all 10 cities affected by the quake and acknowledged problems with the initial response. We're dealing with this disaster with common sense and collective wisdom. All of our ministers, especially our president, have regular contact with our teams in the field. We manage this process based on field feedback and consultations. This is a collaborative effort between our ministries and related organizations. All parties in the Turkish parliament, including the governing AK party, have mobilized their members to help the victims. Turkey is preparing for a presidential election that is most likely the most difficult for President Recep Tayyip Erdogan, who has been in power for more than 20 years. Last Monday's earthquakes will almost certainly have political ramifications. For now, both sides appear to have suspended their campaigns as they work to help millions who have been affected. Sinam Kosolo, Al Jazeera, Ankara.